Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial for running Neural Style PT. In this video, I'm going to go over how to run this on a collab that I coded. So it is not on the official website on their GitHub. So you have to find the collab link down in the video description. Anyways, let's get into it. So the very first thing you want to do on the collab is to go to the runtime and change runtime type. You want to make sure the, the, the choice is on GPU and then press save. And next is to see if you can run this and then you whatever this says you run anyway. After you run finish running this first cell and then next we got to mount our um, Google Drive to the collab. So basically you want to go to this link after you run that cell and then click on the email thing and then press allow and then you copy this code. And then you go back here click on this box and then copy and paste. And after you enter your authorization code, um, you'll successfully mount it. And next thing you want to do is to git clone. And then, and then now, um, after we clone the repository, before the next step, we have to go to your Google Drive. And I just created a new Google account for this to demonstrate how this works. So you basically need to have a file structure like this. So this is your base Google Drive, which is like this. And then you got to create a, a folder called NSPT. And then inside NSPT, you got to create style, um, output, um, input, checkpoint, Checkpoints, my bad. And inside style, you just gotta create a, a, a style one. Uh, I, I don't know why I did that, but it, it's too late to change that. So you gotta do inside style, you have to put style one again. And inside the checkpoints, we want to download the checkpoints now. And then and then you can see down in the video description, you can see all these links. And then you just have to go to all these links to download all these files. And they're all pretty big, so you can delete it after you re-upload it uh, onto your Google Drive and or delete it after you finish using it on your Google Drive because since um, free Google Drive only has 15 GB. So th their size are actually pretty large. You can see here and you're going to download these. Oh, there you go. Yeah, after everything is done, you gotta upload it to your um, checkpoints folder. I already upload the nine image net there. All right, after everything is uploaded, you gotta check all the file names are right. So you might have to edit out the one thing that I have here because I downloaded it twice and I'm dumb. So after you check all the file names are correct, uh, you can click on here. You can see all the file names here. And then you can head over to your um, Collab and now you can press this button without a problem. It should be able to find these files since we have already mounted your Google Drive. Yeah, it is copying now. Nothing is showing errors. Errors? Errors. So the next thing you can queue up is this. Okay, while these are running, we can head back to our Google Drive, close these windows, and then here. And then go to your input and you can choose um, an input image that you want. Uh, I suggest to be in the um, PNG format because um, the collab searched by the file name and file type. So input.png. Uh, so you, you can change it manually, but th this is kind of messy. But you can change it here, input.png to anything you want. But if you don't want to change it, you can just leave it to um, input.png. You're going to change the file type if it's um, JPG. And now once you have the input image, you go to the um, style, style one. And then you put um, the styles that you want the image to have into this folder. So it would be something like this. You just drag any image. I suggest that the image resolution be as high as the resolution you want to do. 
So in here, you can see that the image size will be seen, can be seen here, 512, the first iteration, the second, you can see it goes up to 3,600 to 7,200. And these, the last one usually doesn't work because Col Google Colab will usually run out of memory because I think it's because it has 12 GB RAM for the, for the graphic card, for the free version, of course. So um, if you want to pay for the Google Colab Pro, which you can do it easily and that's ten dollars a month and you can you can run to like seven thousand two hundred uh resolution or like even fourteen fourteen thousand pixels if you want and for the free users like me i just usually um keep the last line here because sometimes it does run through sometimes it doesn't i'm try I, I still couldn't figure out why it could happen like why it could actually run to 7200 sometimes but yeah if you know something you can tell me in my discord and yeah after you finish putting your style images your input images you're ready to run this main module and then this usually takes around 20 minutes to get um the 3600 resolution one. Uh, I don't know about the 7000 one because I didn't really have my chance to time it. So after this one is done, you can just queue this one and then you can just start running this one. And it usually takes around 20 minutes. So um, I'll come back in 20 minutes. Whoa, finally it's over. And now you can head over to your Google Drive and you can go back to your um, output folder and you will see all your outputs here. Oh wow, it looks terrible. But yeah, um, usually the, the smallest one is gonna be the A1 because it's gonna start, start from 512 pixels and then it will end on um, usually 3600 ones and yeah you usually want to save this one because this one will usually be the best but look at this you can't see stuff but usually if the if the starting ones doesn't look good you can cancel the operation so i'm going to show you how to cancel the operation uh, real quick and this one you can see some shape but yeah it, it didn't work so now if you run it uh again um, it will replace everything here, right? So when when this run, so I'll usually sort this by the last uh, last modified, and then you can see oh this one's the latest that's being created. So now it will replace the A1 image here, this one. And you can see it it be it'll be pop onto here, yeah. And you can see the first one is here, and usually the first from the first um first few, you can tell that um the general direction how this rest of the render is gonna be so you can use your deduction like oh okay you, you're not getting any face here you're not getting the body then okay you should change your style from uh to a different image or just restart the whole cell basically and how you can restart it is kind of funny so you gotta press this and then it won't do anything so you gotta spam it and then it'll, it'll, it'll ask you to restart runtime don't do this and then you just keep spamming this until the, the, the key interruption actually registers. There you go. And then now you can see the play buttons is, is stop turning again. So now you can just restart this cell by pr pressing this again. And you'll see that the A1 will get replaced again. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can join my Discord and ask uh, me there. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my main video if you're not sent from main video and see you guys next time.